Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to day 20. Yeah, day 20 on the Cocktober Reviews. This is going to be a film called Losing It. Um, recommended by Endurance Productions. B. West Jr. Thanks for recommendation, dude. Um, yeah, I, I finally got this movie. I, I was finally able to, to get a rental copy of it uh, after trying for quite a while and Turns out I had seen this movie before, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's it's like a, uh, I think they call them like teen sex comedies, like in the same vein as uh, Porky's and stuff like that. Came out in 1983, and it's actually set in 1965. And um, stars your favorite um, Freddy Krueger. Jackie Earl Haley, Jackie Earl Haley, Tom Cruise, John Stockwell, Shelley Long, um, you know, just a bunch of random ass people, but, um, yeah, let's see, yeah, I, I can imagine this is kind of, uh, was a little, uh, I don't know, risque for, for the time that it came out much like Porky's was and all that stuff. So, um, I saw this, like, I, I guess on Comedy Central or TBS or something, like, maybe 10, 15 years ago. But, um, yeah, the basic plot of the film is these, it's three friends and then Jack Earl Haley's character, his brother. They're all heading down to Mexico, right across the border to Tijuana. And they've all got, um, uh, basically, the three guys are going to go and they have kind of like this pact to go lose their virginity is what they're going to do. Go find some some ladies and uh, do their thing. So they're going to do that. And the little brother is kind of going along, kind of like a blackmail. And, you know, if you don't let me go, I'll tell mom, stuff like that. So he's going and he wants to go get some fireworks and then sell them to his buddies at a marked up price to make some cash. So. The little brother's a cool little character. He, he's kind of like a little businessman. But, um, yeah, along the way, they go, they stop at a little convenience store, supermarket, well, market type place, and they run into Shelly Long's character. She's having a fight with her husband, and they own the store together. And <laughs> when they're doing that, it's a funny scene. All the guys are just like, shoving as much shit as they possibly can into their clothes or stealing uh, from from the store because they're distracted, the owners are distracted. So they're getting ready to leave and then Shelly Long's character hops in the car with them and they all ride to Tijuana together. Not very realistic, but nonetheless, they uh, head down to Tijuana and they get there and they all, uh, you know, eventually they drop Shelly Long off to go get her... She wants to get a divorce, so that's that's her main goal of going there. And uh, they're, the guys are eventually together, and then Jackie Earl Haley's character drops his car off to get some work done to it. He's getting a, something called a tuck and roll. I've never really heard of that before, but apparently it has something to do with the, uh, the upholstery of the car. And he's going to get that done to his car, and the, the, the three guys go out looking you know, around town, they're going to go get drunk, find some ladies and stuff like that. So go into a bar, find some ladies. Uh, that's another funny scene. They, they they go into a bar and these three women approach the guys, you know, pretty good looking women. And they're like, uh, you know, you want to, you want to get a, get a drink and we can go upstairs and have some fun or whatever. And they say, you know, hell yeah. And then they, they get up there and then like, once you get to the top floor those three girls leave and then this huge like bouncer type guy comes out and he shows them like their actual choices of ladies to choose from see they thought they were going to get to um spend some time with the ladies downstairs but they get to choose from the the uh, toothless hags that are up top <laughs> it's just a funny scene they uh it's a really bizarre setup so so uh, shit goes down there and from that point on, the three guys basically split up and go do different things, and uh, they all get into different different kinds of trouble, and meet up at the end and head back to the states. And you know, I've 
I've been to Mexico. I've never been to Tijuana, but I've been to a few places in Mexico and never anything like this. I can imagine Tijuana is probably really different than it, than it was um, projected in this movie. Different now, I mean, just because everything's more focused around tourism and stuff like that. But Tijuana is basically just, it's like a, a sin city almost a place for people to go mainly for Americans to go right across the border and do things they can't do in America, which for, for underage kids is to drink and to find prostitutes and buy drugs and buy, um, fireworks apparently. But, um, yeah, just a fun little movie. Um, Shelley Long's character gets on my nerves. She, I'm not a big fan of Shelley Long. She, I mean, it, her, First of all, she she screwed her career up when she left Cheers, because I was a big fan of Cheers, and then she left Cheers, and uh, the way she left kind of pissed me off, but um, the show, thankfully, was really successful in her absence, and her movie career didn't pan out, obviously. She made, like, six shitty movies with Bette Midler, and that was her entire career, so um, not, a, not a fan of Shelley Long, but this was back before she raped her career, but... Um. Yeah, all all the actors do a great job. I think it's his name is Spider, uh, John Stockwell's character. Yeah, John Stockwell. I really like his character a lot. I can relate to him a lot. Like he, wherever he goes, like he seems to get into trouble. Like he's kind of minding his own business, and then somebody goes and fucks with him and causes him to have to get into a fight and stuff like that. And um, you know that was really cool. I could really relate to his character. Because that just seems like how life is. You know, you're minding your own business and somebody starts, you know, giving you giving you a hassle. But one thing I did notice about this movie is Jackie Earl Haley and Tom Cruise, like, don't necessarily look short. So I can only imagine how short the cast of this film are, this film is. Because Jackie Earl Haley is like four foot three and Tom Cruise is like four foot two. So um, that goes to show you the, uh, you know, they obviously probably cast the people around them at similar heights, not so they're so dramatically short, but yeah, lots of great supporting roles. Uh, it's a great film all around. If you're a fan of like Porky's, definitely check this one out. Yeah. Great film. Uh, reminds me of the VHS rental days of back when good movies were still coming out, but thanks for watching guys. I'll see you later. Peace.